My wife and I had lived in Roanoke. We only knew like two couples at church. It was a very large church. When you go to church on Sunday, um, you really, you would think you could connect with people there, but you're not because you're serving, you got stuff going on after church, and so you really don't have that time to connect with people like you think you would. So when we moved here, we were intentional the other way. We, we made sure that we were going to find a church, and when we got there, we were going to get involved. And we found this church and got plugged in with a small group right away. They were all in the same life cycle that we were. Honestly, they were all like we were. We've gone to the river house together. Uh, we've gone to the beach together. We've gone on cruises together. I mean, we just had a ton of fun. We have been in four small groups. I'm thinking five, but she's probably right there. Probably four. <laughs> Each small group served a different purpose for the stage of life we and our kids were in. It's added so much more depth to um, my life, deeper friendships, uh, not surface. And that's the whole point of small groups, to get to know people on a, on a level that you can actually meet people. I mean, there's, there's no way that you can make relationships with 1,500 people. 15 or 20, yes, you can build a good, strong circle with that many people. And that's, that's what we've done. We've, we've got some core friends that, um, you know, we just, we've done life with, we've held each other accountable. We've had lots of fun. We've cried tears. It's the whole thing. You can't really dig deep on a Sunday. When we are at small group, we can, we have that time to dig deeper, to answer questions or to ask questions and to take a deep dive sometimes, especially if somebody really has a question that, that we really can't answer. That's helped me grow as well um, in my faith for sure. It's that spark. When people are searching, you don't leave them out there to search. You go find them and help them find what they're looking for. My part that I think that I need to play is, is to show people God's love. So I think the best part about leading a small group is seeing the light bulb go off, um, sometimes for myself, but mostly for, for the other people in our small group who haven't been Christ followers for as long. And so seeing their lives change. Being that person in their life that they, they may have never had, because I had people in my life that, that were the same to me, and that's where I gained the most from. The one couple that is part of our small group who I didn't know before at all, they're both gonna get baptized and um, that that is huge. And what if I didn't take that step and say, let's lead a small group? We, we said, said yes, yes to, to small, small groups. groups.